sacrifice. All right, guys, we've decided. I wanted to show you guys the, the, the Fort Myers Beach Strip, but this traffic jam is gonna stand still for about an hour. We just can't do it no more. We wanna get, we wanna make the best out of our day. stuck in this traffic jam, but I sure don't. Parking meters here. You got to pay to park here. Yeah. Oh, I ain't doing that. Well, guys, I ain't paying the dang beach, man. So if you want to see the beach, there it is. But there's no parking meters. How are you supposed to pay? You pay with phone? Yeah. Oh, that's ridiculous. How do you pay with your phone? <clears throat> First of all, there is no parking meter. How much is it to park? How about that? Three dollars. Three dollars? Show here, or do you want to go? I'll stay here. <coughs> you got it? All right. So you pay, you know how you, you, you figure it out, babe? Yeah. All right. Can I just pay you guys the $3? I'd rather give you guys $3. It's $10. Oh, it's ten. I'd rather give it to you guys in the city of Fort Myers Beach. How much you want for it? You want to sell it? Are you sure? All right, buddy. Yeah, that's why I'm still driving mine, man. They don't make them like they used to. I'll leave my sandals right here. <coughs> All right, guys. So we're paying the city of Fort Myers Beach three dollars. Let's see what we're getting for three dollars, guys. Other than a traffic jam, maybe some red tide. I mean, I don't know, man. Let's see if the beach out here is actually worth paying. What is it? Two thousand dollars a week, four thousand dollars a month, 
if you can get in because everybody seems to be full. <clears throat> so hold on, let's suppose there's 52 weeks in a year, right? Check out the view, guys. All right, so there's 52 weeks in a year. Am I talking to somebody? Who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? I just dialed somebody. <coughs> okay. Let's go to calculator real quick, guys. So, this is Fort Myers Beach. Hear a lot of people talking loud. There's 52 weeks in a year, but let's say only 30 of those weeks get rented out. So 30 times 2,400, $72,000 a year. So somebody's playing music over there. So we're gonna try to avoid them because it's gonna give us a YouTube copyright strike. We're gonna try to walk around them. guys trying to give us a cue to copyright strike so i don't know what to do here he's playing music i'm just gonna run past it and hold the microphone all right let's run because youtube will give us a copyright strike if it detects music from a particular group let's just run let's just run 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 we're running we're running we're running we're running we're running Okay, we're far away from So we came in through that blue sign right there. Okay, guys. <clears throat> this is not an impressive beach. This is... My toes are starting to hurt. So there's definitely something on the beach here that's making my toes hurt. So it's like... Immediate allergy attack. So there's definitely red tide here on the beach. I can feel my fat toes hurting. So there's definitely red tide out here. So this is Fort Myers Beach. The water looks dirty. The water looks disgustingly dirty. Um, it's actually a lot of garbage blown up near the shore. So it's not clean. The water's dirty. The views are mediocre. I would rather, in all honesty, I would recommend Mexico Beach, Panama Beach. I would go along the Big Bend of Florida, uh, Panama Beach. Um, for these prices, now I don't. I know you can buy a house in those areas for about four hundred thousand dollars. You can actually buy a house. <coughs> More radios. Let's try to get away from the radio noise. So. Too many radios, it's not good. We get copyright strikes, so. Somebody fishing out here. Can't even throw that cast net, man. They don't cast net, man. Gotta show this guy how to throw that cast net, man, out there. Gotta open, open that cast net up, man. Gotta get that cast net to open, man. They can go, gotta open up the cast net down there, swing like that, man. That thing opened up, dang right there, man. Otherwise, that thing closed like that, won't catch nothing. <clears throat> you can smell the red tide. I can active. I can actually smell the red tide, guys. You can really smell the red tide out here. So there is red tide. Has it stopped these people from coming here? No. Are there dead fish on the water edge? Uh, there's a lot of dead stuff. I can feel my toes swelling up right here. You can smell the red tide and you can feel it. So I would definitely, I, honestly, this is all dead. These are all dead barnacles and stuff. So this is definitely red tide stuff right here. It's not normal. All this dead stuff, that's all dead stuff. All this is dead stuff. There's not even enough dead fish anymore in the Gulf to wash up that fish but you can definitely smell it 
doesn't seem to be bothering these people who paid four thousand dollars a week to be down here but you can definitely smell it the water looks horrible and you can smell it and it's dirty and in here you can see it's like dead stuff so it's definitely there probably ain't even enough dead fish anymore to go around so i'm gonna be honest with you i would not recommend this you can see the flies all over stuff you see all the flies you can see the flies and there is dead stuff in here look this is uh looks like a crab that died looks like uh see, there is dead stuff in here and there's just not even any more stuff to die anymore you can see the flies are all over it so this is not usual this is not your usual uh beach side garbage this is definitely red tide death And they do probably clean up the dead fish. The city probably cleans them up. I wouldn't recommend this vacation at all. I would go to um, Fort Walton Beach. I would go to Panama Beach. I would go to Mexico Beach. I would definitely do the North Florida Panhandle or the East Coast. I'm going to be honest with you guys. There is no way I'm going to pay $4,000 a week. Between three, what, 2500 so four thousand dollars a week to smell red tide it's got me sick i can feel it um i can feel it i feel sick my toe my big toes are turning red from the allergies you can smell it you can see the dead fish they probably come through here and clean up i wouldn't recommend this guys i would try another part of florida to be honest now how did we get in here i don't remember where we parked <coughs> here's the guy with the cast net and you can see the flies mostly dead stuff this type of stuff is not what you would normally see along the beach it's definitely death Oh, you gotta figure it out. You gotta bike on the beach. That's the way to do it right there. That's the way to do it right there. Get a bike with some big old tires. What you got there, man? Dang old fish, man. Crab thing looking thing, man. All right, guys. So we're out. This is Fort Myers Beach. <coughs> Littering beach. honest i would not recommend this at all we just stayed for 160 dollars a night on the beach on the east coast in uh, palm beach florida you guys saw the video the, the resort's called tideline there's people feeding the birds people feeding the birds So, um, <clears throat> I would definitely not recommend Fort Myers Beach. Um, as you can see, there's dead animals everywhere from the red tide. You can smell the red tide. I can feel my toes tingling from the red tide. Um, like I said, I stayed, I stayed in Palm Beach and it was $160 a night. It was really $120, but they always throw in fees and taxes and stuff. Um, I can feel my toes and my bottom of my feet hurting. Um, I, I'm a very allergic person. I get a lot of allergies and stuff, so I can feel my the sand making my toes burn. <coughs> yeah, I would not do this, guys. Between the traffic, the traffic, the construction, the red tide, um, and the price of it too. I mean, come on, I could understand. If, if this was cheaper than the east coast of Florida, but it's more expensive and there's 
clearly uh Hey, yo tengo para atrás en cinco minutos, ¿ok? Uh, I wouldn't recommend this, guys. Um, this needs to be cheaper than the east coast of Florida. And it's not. It's more expensive, which makes no sense at all. My toes are tingling. I'm gonna have to wash my feet before I get back in the truck. Get all the red tied off my feet. So, Fort Myers Beach. Personally, wouldn't recommend it. That's my honest, honest, truthful opinion. If you're coming to Florida, I would pass on this one. Um, the people who own these vacation rentals are making a killing. Like we did the math, it was $72,000 a year. So that's a 10 year return on a complete, let's say $700,000 investment. So they're making a lot of money, but is this going to be sustainable? Like, are you really going to be able to rent this place out to people? I think it's the fame the area has. That's why I want to create more awareness of the reality of coming to Florida because a lot of these places have a fame and people just come for the fame of the name. And then when you actually get here, it's actually not all it's cranked up to be. So that's the reality. My truthful opinion about Fort Myers Beach, I would pass. I would do something in the northwest corner of Florida on the Panhandle or the east coast. This area is a bust. <clears throat>